What's going on everybody? It's me, DM Dave. Hope you're having a great afternoon. Got some exciting news for us today. We have actually got our first sample of Legends of Emeria. I know it's been a long time coming. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, 2020 and 2021 have uh, have not been without their challenges and difficulties, but we've managed to get around them and found a great company to work with called Longpack, who's going to be producing these for us. And we have our first look at this here. So if all thing, everything is good, uh, we will be able to uh, start shipping these pretty soon. Anyways, I'm going to unbox this and take a look, and you're going to get to take a look with me. We're going to figure out what we need to do and to make it the perfect product. So um, this has kind of been a labor of love for me for some time. I always wanted to create a product that harkened back to my days with uh, second edition and the, uh, the big long box sets that they made, like the black box and a couple of the others. They were kind of like a board game style back in the early 90s. So that's what we've managed to accomplish with this. Uh, working with Che and Peku doing the maps and uh, Wilson from Paper Forge doing our tokens. Of course, the adventure and the rules are by me. So uh, we've got a lot of great people working on it. My editor, Scott Craig, uh, formatted all this. His wife, Jennifer Craig, who's our uh, COO, she'll be the one that's um, organizing all the shipping for you all. All right, so here it is, guys. This is pretty cool. Check this out. Here's our Legends of Emeria uh, box set. Now, they told us in an email this morning that they couldn't get the dice and the stands in, so we're going to have to probably figure that out. But as you can see, it looks pretty solid so far. Beautiful cover art, two-part box, has all the pertinent information tells us all about it and then of course it's it's wrapped to make sure that it uh, gets to you all in one piece okay let's see here Ugh, unwrapping it breaks my heart <laughs> it's so pretty I don't want to mess it up but don't worry I'll have, I have a few more copies coming <laughs> all right here we go so here's the Legends of Vermeria uh, the box set you can see it comes with the dice, nice and purple. Uh, my favorite color, also the color of uh, DM Dave. These will be the stands that our tokens are going to go on. Two part box. Nice, dense material. I love that. And I like a nice little thin box. I want something that's going to be sturdy. You can see we've got our rule book. So here's the rule book that uh, Scott and I put together has all your basic rules for 5th edition, similar to what you would get in the starter set, uh, as well as um, uh, the essentials kit. This is the Winds of Apul Adventure, another lovely edition you can see hopefully here, um, Che and Peku's maps, um, all the words put by me, Wilson from uh, Paper Forge's artwork, really cool. One of our big stretch goals was the GM screen. So we've got that with the uh, front cover arc. Has all the stuff that you need to know for the game. Very nice. And something I was really excited about that I'd never really seen done, um, at least in any modern products, were these uh, cardboard punch out tokens. Look at that. That's awesome. And you've got every, every figure you need in the game here. So a whole lot of heavy cardboard. That's pretty exciting. And we've got our, next up we've got our, this is the bonus pack that's gonna be coming with this. It has uh, all the bonus stuff that, um, including character sheets and things like that. So it's pretty cool. Some beautiful artwork from Tiddy Luitong. Um, really neat stuff. And then we've got all of Che's maps. Look at these. Ah, the material is amazing. Like it's nice and thick, folds up beautifully. Long pack has done an excellent job. The uh, squares, if you could see them, are perfectly sized for one inch by one inch. So perfect tactical maps to play on. Even if you don't play them with this game, you know you've got these maps here to uh, run around and do some <laughs> awesome stuff with your fifth edition games. And you can see we've got a bunch of these maps in here for. Uh, all the biggest scenes in the game it's pretty cool <laughs> it's really neat to like be able to like see this all come to fruition after uh, working on it you know um, 
I'm excited for all of you to get your hands on this and just see the level of quality that we put in here. We've learned a lot in this process and it's been very exciting. We knew <clears throat> when things were going to start running late, we had two choices. We could either do like a, a kind of a lousy fast version to make sure it gets there quick, or we could do, uh, um, you know, we're going to be late anyway, so we might as well put our best foot forward. And that's what we decided to do. Ended up spending <clears throat> a bit more money than we planned on spending in the beginning, but we wanted to make sure that this product was awesome once it got in your hands. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of uh, Legends of Vermeerium. I'm really excited uh, to put it together. I'm, all the team is excited. On behalf of us all, thank you so much for your patience, and uh, can't wait to see what you think.